Hi, I'm Francesca with your local news. Rio de Janeiro has Carnival, New Orleans Mardi Gras, but it's Key West that proudly owns Fantasy Fest. What is Fantasy Fest? Well, it's 10 days of non-stop outrageous celebrations and it's definitely not for the faint of heart. Now, over 70,000 people attend this festival and the reasons, well, it's not hard to see why, because of the beautiful weather, gorgeous location, and the excuse to participate in some of the craziest, wildest, unique, funniest, sexiest contests and events that are completely unique to Fantasy Fest itself. Now, there are so many events, I just, I just don't have time to tell you about them all, but here are a few of them I do want to share with you. There's the headdress ball. Now, the headdress ball has exquisite headdresses that take people literally hours and hours to make. And there's Sloppy Joe's toga party, there's Captain Tony's party in plaid, and of course, there's the pet parade and masquerade. That's one of my favorites. And there's a masquerade march through the cemetery. There's body painting contests, there's wet t-shirt contests, contest the list just goes on and on and it's one of the craziest wildest things ever now everybody gets together for the fantasy fest parade with a procession of glittering floats marching band and dancing groups and you know how the saying goes it ain't over till the fat lady sings and she does at the fat ladies tea party at la di da's signaling the end of fantasy fest so what are you waiting for you still have plenty of time to make your arrangements log on to our our website at tripsmarter.com. We've got all types of helpful hints and you can book your accommodations there. And I hope to see you down here at Fantasy Fest. I'll see you back here with more local news.